Hello, beautiful. And welcome to makeup. Oh, Pilop is back. Pilop is so excited because Pilop is getting to sit down with you guys, put on makeup, have a little giggle, have fancy little chortle if you're a fancy little goddess. Oh, it is going to be such a good time. And Pilop is so happy that she gets to spend it with you guys. For today's video, Pilop is doing a request. She said lots of people ask her, oh, Pilop, would you be able to do some more natural makeups? Oh, Pilop, would you be able to do some more quick makeup tutorials for the people that have less time in the day to be sitting down and doing some crazy stuff like lipstick roses on themselves? So you know what? Why not eat two meals with one stuff? is what I always say. So for today's video, Pilof is going to show you her more natural sides of makeups, but also her go-to looks so that you can see how she'd bust out a makeup look in like 15 minutes or less depending on look so that the people with less time also have like something to do. Yeah, you see where I'm going? I'm going for my quick easy makeup tutorial looks so that like, yeah. Pilof has lost mind. Pilof need coffee to find it. So, first step for Pilof, once again, she's put on fancy, fabulous hat. But it is so inconvenient when you try and do makeups. Okay, so the first step for Pilof is Pilof has crusty, dusty skin because she cannot help but eat all of the things she's allergic to, like delicious tomatoes. Because, like, oh, pizza is just so delicious. So she gets her holy water and she tries to drown her face in it. Like, not really drown, but kind of drown. Like, the kind of thing where you're at a beach and you see a cute light guard and you're like, oh, if I just, like, flail my arms around for a bit and be like, oh, help me. <coughs> I'm drowning <laughs> then he comes save you because it is his job and you get to be around cute little lifeguard for a moment and then your eyes connect and then you make up a beautiful little love story in your head like that kind of drown so first makeup look is pilos like go to work kind of look so it kind of makes you look a little bit more fresh a little bit more relaxed like less like you have a caffeine addiction and like you haven't slept in like three days that kind of look if you get my drift so all you will need is a sin stick because sin stick is best friend we always have our best friend with us sin stick highlight brows mascara so first tip get sin stick Put on some sin stick. Not too much sin stick because otherwise people will be like, oh, did you go out in sun with like sunglasses on and then just like forget to like do the stuff and then like the, yeah, you don't want that. So just put a few little dots, so mainly under the eyes so that we can just eliminate some of the stresses. And then just add some of the sin stick to problem areas like that little eruption boy there, that little eruption boy there, the scars from little eruption boys over the years, that kind of thing. Just fill in some of the gaps, but not all of the gaps. We just want to, we just want to look refreshed, but not like cakey face. Now I want cake. See, just enough sin stick, you look a little bit more refreshed, you look a little bit more awake, you look a little bit more approachable. Like people are more likely to be like, oh, Pilof, how was your day? Rather than like, oh, Pilof, you look like you've had day. You get my drift. The Monster Sin Stick is on. We are just going to get our highlights. So I'm going to go with the Born to Glow by NYX. This one just fits peel off complexion really, really well. And then just highlight your inner corner, your cheekbones, your nose, and your cute little Cupid's bow. And then just a bit on cheekbones, just to give a bit of a whoop, a bit of a whoop, whoop, whoop. And then we just do a cute little doo doo, and a cute little boop boop, and then just a little dust. <laughs> then do your duck face. Oh, delicious. So once the scene stick is on, once our little glow is happening, people of them moves on to brows. Brows is personal preference. Some people don't like brows. Some people are like Jeffree Star. Some people like skinny little brow, like they are Betty Boop. Some people like sharp Instagram brows, a la Instagrammers. And then some people are like Pilof, who love thick. Oh my gosh, look at those brows. Is that Cara Delevingne? Oh my goodness gracious. That kind of thing. So Pilof like to go for thick, bushy brows. Like they can pop out a rose or something like that. So Pilof just bought this NYX, like, what are you? NYX eyebrow cake powder or something or rather. I bought it for last video. I really like it. So I'm going to use it again. And I use it pretty much every day because I really, really like it. So I'm just going to get a little brush, put it in there. And we are just going to start adding definition so that maybe one day our brows might be so glorious. The Cara Delevingne will be like, oh. I see you over there. I think you are stunning. I need you to do my makeups. I need you to do my makeups. And then our brows could meet. 
imagine it. A day where Cara Delevingne and Peel Off Brows could meet in person and then like, oh, cause, because Peel Off Brows celebrity crush is Cara Delevingne. In all honesty, Cara Delevingne might just be Peel Off celebrity crush. And then once I put on the powder, I just get the little like brush thingy and dip it in the wax. And then just spike up my brows a bit. Not too much, just enough for them to look nice and fluffy. Now the brows are done, I just like to enhance my lashes a bit, give me more of a like dull little vibe if that makes sense. At the end of the day, I just want to look like a bushy brow doll. Is that too much to ask for? So just get your guillotine, chuck your lashes in, do not pinch eyeball, just try and sever the heads of your lashes, but there's the rubber things underneath, which means that they are not going to get beheaded. They are just going to curl. No Anne Boleyn here. Add on a little coat of your mascara. But now that eyes are done, so we just have done a little bit of a brow moment, some mascara, some scene stick, some highlight. We just look nice and refresh. Like you go somewhere and people are like, oh, is she not looking good? Oh, and you're sitting there, you're like, oh, yes, I just spent two minutes in the mirror. Look at me go, blah, 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 because do not be humble. You're stunning. Why be humble? Okay, so then once I've done all of that, I just like to put on a little bit of lip gloss. Not a lipstick, but a gloss. So I either go for my Carmex, which like, oh, my lips are always chipped. So this baby cakes, she knows what to do. So you can either just leave a plain, or I have, I have some little goodies. I have a little bit of wisdom to share with you. So one of my favorite lipstick companies is Lipstick Queen. Why? Because they have a lipstick called Frog Prince and Hello Sailor. So Frog Prince. Look at this magic, look at the magic! So, oh, peel off, what are you talking about? It is a green lipstick, what are you going on about? Wait for this, it goes on pink! It goes on pink, the green lipstick, it goes on pink. It, I don't know what magic this is, I don't know what kind of magic this is, but it goes on pink. And then the Hello Sailor, it is not as like, woo! world is the like green to pink transition because that still boggles people of mind but that is okay but the blue one turns like a cute little purple it just takes a bit of time to warm up but that is okay so if you want if you want to just add a little bit more of a oh hello sailor or a bit more of a oh kiss me i am frog and i want the print prints there was going to be an analogy, but Pilo forgot how to analogy. So, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to put this on like it is a lip gloss. And then it will just add a cute little like, oh, kind of moment to my lips. It is not much, but sometimes it is just the subtle things in life where people are like, oh, hello. And you're just like, mm, yes, I am fabulous. Thank you very much. That kind of thing. Yes, this is first look. It is definitely the most natural look that Pilo has under her belt. So with this one done, time to move on to the next. Oh, I just realized how much peel off skin is going to hate her at the end of day. I just realized how much peel off skin is just going to be. What are you doing? First step, sand stick. So this is the kinds of looks where I go. I go for a little bit less subtle look. So we are just going to cake on the sand stick this time. Just cover up every single bit of sand. We do not want the world to know any of our secrets. I may not need as much sin stick with the NYX as I did with the Kmart sin sticks. Oopsie daisies. Now that sin stick is on, we are just going to go in with some of the eye chalks. So because peel off is a pasty, 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 pasty lady. She's ever so pale. It was just like melanin was like, oh, not that one. Because I am so pasty, my go-to like nude palette is my Naked 3 Urban Decay palette. Because like they're like those colors fit peel off, but if you are not like peel off, which like there are lots of people not out there like peel off, like there are darker goddesses, there are like lighter goddesses, there are goddesses with like like yellow undertones or pink undertones or neutral undertones, like peel off does not, not know what like undertone she has, but like I hear that that is thing that you have to be aware of, so like different complexions, different nude colors. Just find the palette that really works for you. This one just worked for peel off. So I'm going to use my new, uh, my neutral colors, so this one, you can see I use that one the most, and then that one, and then the dark one. So I use Strange, which like, that works, and then Limit, which like, that does not make sense, and then Nooner. I don't know what a Nooner is, but 
I feel like my makeup palette just insulted me. This is how I do my eyeshadow. So I just get a light color and I dust her everywhere. Medium color, and we get that on brush and then just dust that in the crease and we just blend. We build it slowly. That way, because we are trying to go for a more natural look. We aren't trying to go for anything too like outrageous. We are just trying to go for something a little bit like, ooh, like understate the beauty. Yes. And then once the mid color is in, get the dark color, which is called Nooner, which like, I don't know if I like that name. And then just try and buff that closer to the outside and just try and buff that in a bit as well just to add a bit of definition it just gives a little bit more like okay openness to the eyes a little bit more of a whoo, kind of people off like to describe things with like onomatopoeias let's be honest she likes to describe things like she is siren on like an emergency vehicle whoo, whoo, that kind of thing now that eye chalk is on, we are just going to highlight the inner corner and I'm just going to use my NYX one again because like I really like this color. It is a cute nude kind of highlight for peel off. Like it looked, it almost looked natural, but like we all know that it is not. Now because I do not know how many like natural looks I'm really going to be doing in this video, I'm just kind of like, apparently I do not know how to count more than two this morning but that is okay so when i say like my natural look when i say like go for your natural base this is what i mean by natural base i mean scene stick some eye chalk a little bit of highlighter and the my whole life just flashed before my eyes this nail is dangerous so this is like a good go-to but i've done this look since i was like 16 and i'm not going to tell you how old i am because i want to leave a little bit of mystery to our relationship so once we have our naturalness done that is when I start to really play with what I want to go with. So the simplest thing you could do to add a little bit more of a pizzazz is a liner. So one thing you could do is you could do a soft, like cute little line, just to really like, oh, up the look. The way that I do liner is you flick, you drag, you hope for the best. Everybody pray for peel of safety. Keep everything crossed that these will match. Right eye and left eye. Buckle up, baby cakes. We want a subtle line. None of this, like, big, outrageous flick that you keep putting on my face, okay? Yes? There is the flick. That was the worst flick I've ever seen, right, I? What is that? Okay, and then we are going to drag. It is smaller than usual, which I guess is all I can really ask from you, right, I? Usually you're the one that behaves, but that is okay. So this is apparently the line that we are going to go for, and then we're just going to fill in the rest, and then hope that left eye agrees. Which if right eye didn't agree today, left eye, you better be on best behavior. Left eye is in a timeout, because like, this, I love right eye, like, I fix her up, she looks so cute. This is probably the cutest little chubby, like, little liner, or like, ooh! kind of liner I have ever done and then left eye is just like no so now that liner is on I'm just going to do my lashes guillotine mascara the usual most of this stuff like let's be honest natural makeup tutorials like something that isn't like over the top extravagant kind of thing starts to become very very boring after a while because it is like oh I know just like get some scene stick put it over your scene like it is not like rocket science now that scene stick is all on, it is completely up to you if you want to add a bit more definition or not. Peel off, if she has time, will definitely add a contour. Because she powder contours, she can literally do it in like 30 seconds. She has her boy Marky Mark Jacobs palette. We pull a fish face. And then for nose, we just get some more and we just do a quick little flick. And a quick little flick. And then just highlight our usual sections. So the little cheekbone there. I love this highlight. I love it. Okay, and then once we do that, your choice for lips. So you can either, once again, just go for a cute little lip gloss. I just love the frog prints because it makes me so cute in pink. So you can either go for a lip gloss or you can go for a lipstick. So my lipsticks at the moment that I love, I either love just like a really cute red moment or at the moment my other favorite color lipstick is the Prague from the next video that I just did. So we are just going to add some Prague. It is just enough to make it really like pop from you and like, oh, I just, is this not the cutest color? Is this not the cutest pink? See, that look will take peel off about like 
7 to 10 minutes depending on how the eyes are behaving because like I try and keep everything as quick as possible because sometimes you do not have time up your sleeve to like really be busting out some magnificent looks but you still want to look a little bit more done up because you want to have like the confidence of like oh yes fight me look at how good my liner look that kind of thing yes yeah? so this is look number two now that look number two is done time to start again now that makeup is off we are going to go into look three this look is my go-to like going out look like oh i want to look a bit fancy it is like i try to start off natural and then halfway through i get to the point where i'm just like where is the glitter you have bare face turn it into your natural base Go! Boom! Our natural eyes are on. We have our sin stick, our eye chalk, and our brows looking oh, ever so good. So now that that is done, we get to start adding our little bit of possesses. What I use is, this is actually mine. I did not steal this from my sisters. So I have my Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow on... Oh, that is in French. Pilof does not know French. And it is in the shade Diamond Dust. So it is just like a lot of fine glitter. So all I do is I put it on my lid. Oh, there's lots of sparkle there. And then get my finger. And I dab it all around. Don't know if you can see that in camera. But it is just a cute little amount of glitter. And it is like, oh, your eyes are a disco ball. It looks like there is a party and everybody is invited. Like, look at that. Like, it looks... It just looks like you went to so much effort and you did literally nothing except for dab your finger on top of your eyelids for a bit. But everyone is going to be like, oh, you, you, you just look like such magnificent goddess and you're just going to be like, eh, I know. <laughs> and then we move on to liner. For this look, I do my more like, what? Kind of line. So this is the part where you really have to pray for pillow safety. I know that we have already prayed once, but we are going to pray again, brace ourselves again. Remember, flick. Drag. Hot for best. Because right eye is already had the day today. So like we do not want right eye to do that again. So flick. That is a good flick. Drag. Fill in the rest. Match it up with left eye! Bright eye and left eye just cannot make up their minds. At first left eye is being a misbehaving little munchkin and now left eye is looking so sharp, so crisp, so... Oh! And then bright eye is having an absolute... Like just... Eyes, could you just like coordinate together? Like that is your job. Now that our eyes are looking like sparkly little disco ball, our eyeliner is looking so sharp, so... Whoop! Look at that! Yes! So... Now that that is all done, we just move on to the next step. So, you can either go one of two ways. You can either go just straight on mascara. So, depending on how much time you have, depending on what you feel comfortable with, depending on what you just in, like, generally like, if that makes sense. This is done. This is the eye look done. But, because peel off, love, a bit of a va va boom moment. Also, like, it is so hard not to be extra for her. Like, just, she's like almost a drag queen at this point, I feel. So, Peel of love eye feather. So I just have like my little collection. There's like six in here. I just, I go for whatever ones I want. I feel as though I'm going to go for my big clown lashes. So the way the peel of does her eye feathers is she gets a feather. She gets her pinchy boys. She puts the feather in the pinchy boys. I know. Strenuous, strenuous task. But the real, the real challenge when it does come to feathers is waiting for the glue to get tacky. So just get yourself some glue. I just have this this like mecha mix glue i actually really like this glue so just line the feathers with the glue wait for it to get tacky one of the ways a peel off is able to do this makeup so fast is i will actually hold the feathers in one hand as i do something like my liner like the actual eyelashes like my brows like all of it so i will hold this as i do the rest of the makeup so that is how i am able to do the eye feathers so fast is because i've gotten really good at relying on left hand to hold my feather so now the feathers are nice and tacky just put them just above your actual lashes but not on the lash, if that makes sense. Like, try not to put them on the actual lashes, otherwise you might, like, lose your actual lashes when you take them off. Oh, do not be stuck! There we are. Okay, my pinchy boys must have a bit of glue on them. Done! 
Once again, step is not 100% necessary, but at the same time, does that not look so tempting to do every day? Like, look at my doll. Uh, look at. Look, just, feathers are on. We are just looking so freaking cute. Look at us. We are looking like. Ah! Uh, I just. Uh, peel off! Once again, we look amazing, baby cakes, and I just. when you just look this stunning and just oh peel off we've done such good job i am so proud of you so now that we have done that that is most of the eye look done once again it is natural but it is not like too natural if that makes sense there is still a bit of a pop to the look a little bit of a what now that eyes are done you just finish off the rest of the face then you get to pick the lips once again with this look you can go for understated like a gloss or you can go for a big wow moment like a red so as you can see the red lip really intensifies this look. It suddenly goes from like a, oh, kind of cute natural to like, hello, I'm here. You are unstoppable with a red lip, everyone. Doesn't matter who you are, what you are. You could be an alien from Area 51. I do not care what you are. If you have a red lip, you are unstoppable. This is the third look. It is like the little red riding hood kind of look if you catch my dress. She start off on the path. She start off on the path to like a natural, just classic kind of look. And then diverts at some point and then we end up here. Either way, this is third look. Now that this is done, wipe off all the glory and I'm going to show you the fourth look. The really sad thing about this tutorial is that I waited how long for these to go on and then I'm taking these off to once again wait how long to put them on so of course with some YouTube magic and some YouTube editing we are about to go from our cute little goblin aesthetic into our glorious nude base aesthetic in three two one was that not glorious boom there we are we have our natural base on seed stick eye chalk oh everything is looking good so Something that is very popular right now. I see it all over Graham of Instas and I really like it because you can change it up depending on the day. Oh, okay, so we are just going to put a pop of color on the inner corner. That is it. We are just going to put a pop of color and really that is it. And I know it sounds like so like, oh, is it a pillow? But at the same time, it is such a cute look. So just pick yourself a color. Today I'm feeling a little bit Eiffel 65, so I am going to go for blue. Today I'm going to go for my Urban Decay Electric Palette because there is a color called Gonzo. And Gonzo is such a vibrant baby cakes. I love Gonzo. So just get a fluffy brush. Get your color of your choice, whatever you want. You want a tangerine moment, chuck in the tangerine moment. You want yellow, chuck in yellow. You want green, chuck in green. Chuck in whatever you want. This is your choice. You put in whatever color you want and then just put her in that part of your eye and build her up. This is very similar to my internet's hardest makeup tutorial look. Except we are not going for the graphic liner because that took me like 45 minutes per eye and we do not have time for that. So I'm just going to put a cute little glitter turd on the back of my hand. Oh, is she not perfect? Is she not stunning? And then I'm just going to get a little brush, put the glitter on the brush and then pop that in my inner, inner corner. Is that not cute? Yes, I love it. That is all done. I just do once again liner. So flick, drag, hope for the best. Go. We've got these baby cakes. We've done this so many times in this video today. Right eye, this time is going to behave. This time, left eye is going to behave. This is going to be the best wingo I've ever seen in your life. All right? Are you ready? Are you set? Three, two, one. Flick, drag. And then just fill in the rest and make left eye match up. Left eye and right eye have had personality switch. Left eye is deciding to be the sharpest baby cakes that is ever sharpest has ever existed. And once again, all of this is up to you. But now that my liner is looking sharp, of course, I go into my lashes. So once again, guillotine, mascara, depending on how much time I have, depending on how much time you have, depending what we are both comfortable with, it's my feathers. It is really up to you. So because I said before that I will sometimes hold in my left hand the lashes and do everything else with my right hand while it dries, I'm going to demonstrate that because put your money where your mouth is, be So left hand, I have 
pinchy boys, I have feathers, I have them drying with glue. Then with my right hand, I will get guillotine. Lashes are of course still drying, so then while we wait for it to keep drying, we'll just place on our contour, still holding with left hand. You just have to fiddle with things a little bit more. Then just, of course, fish face. This is where stuff starts to get a little bit dangerous and you suddenly have to like hold and work with your little claw fingers. Mm. She looks stunning. Finally, I think the lashes are tacky, so we can just place them on. Oh, now the feathers are on. We are just looking stunning with our cute little pop of color. So because we have our pop of color there, I do not want to do too much with the lips. So this is where I bust out a nude lip. This is this like NYX Beijing like soft matte cream or something like that. It is just Oh, it is just such a cute nude. And I love it for peel off. And just like that, once again, we are done. With the eyes looking so cute, the cute little pop of color, the lips on, that is for it for the fourth look. Oh, but with all of that said and done, our four looks complete. That is it for today's video. Once again, we are done for today. I hope that you've enjoyed yourself, but with it being a peel off makeup tutorial, there's still one thing left to do, and that is sexy summers! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> yes, but that is it for today's video. Peel off the makeup goddess has shown you how to be a stunning natural beauty. Sometimes with a bit of a twist, sometimes we get lost along the way, but natural beauty enough. And oh, while you're out there being your natural beauty, whether it is look one, look two, look three, or look four, or whatever look you kind of mash together into a cute little makeup cocktail, you feel what I say? Yes, no matter what makeup look you decide to put on today, tomorrow, whenever you want, do not forget to go out there in the world, show them how stunning you look, just make them take all of you in and stand there and be like, and while you're out there in the world, do not forget what dear mother always say. If you can't say something nice, I say something cruel. <laughs>